In other words, uh, like in the textbook, the victim's textbook for victims of white supremacy, which you can get by going to producejustice.com, in the revised expanded edition, I have four questions that you ask. What do you plan to do? Everybody, I mean, what do you want to do, Reverend? I was talking about wants, W-A-N-T-S. And I've said this over and over again on this program. Uh, what do you want to do? Because everybody, every creature wants to do something. A squirrel right now wants to cross the road or climb the tree. Uh, a cat wants to go down this particular street rather than the other street. Uh, or go down this particular alley, I mean, and examine whatever's going on down there. Look for some food, maybe. That's a want. A bird that is migrating from one place to another has a want. Uh, you may look up at the bird flying around in a circle in the sky, and you may say, that bird's just flying around in a circle. But the bird wants to fly around in a circle. That's why the bird is flying around in a circle, unless some external force is causing it to fly in a manner that it doesn't want to fly in. But that bird has wants. Not just every now and then, but every waking moment. It's the same way with a person. Even if it's just a simple thing of getting out of one chair and crossing the room and sitting in another chair. That's the result of a want. Why did you change chairs? Because you wanted to. Why? Because you say, well, the chair on the other side of the room seems to be more comfortable. Because I'm not comfortable in this chair that I'm in. So these are wants. So it comes down to every day, if you're going to solve problems, first thing you think about is, what do you want to do? Because everybody has some type of problem. Babies have problems from the moment that they're born. So they want to do something. They want to not have a problem. All right? So you say, what do you want to do? So this is what you ask people during the day if you want to get clarity, if you want to know what's on people's minds. People want to do things. So in order to get an understanding of people's behavior, you raise that question. What do you want to do? Then the next question is, why do you want to do it? Why do you want to do this thing that you want to do? Because there are reasons why people want to do things. I want to go downtown. Well, why do you want to go downtown? All right. The next question. How do you plan to do what you want to do? If this is your want, so you must have a plan. Or do you have a plan? How do you plan to do what you want to do? And don't interject yourself into the answer. In other words, sometimes when we ask a person a question, we want to help them with the answer. We want to guide them to the answer that we think that they should be going to. No, you don't do that. Let the person say what it is they want to do, how that person, why that person wants to do it, and how that person plans to do it, if they have one. They may, when you get to that third question, say, well, I want to do such and such, and the reason I want to do such and such is such and such and such, but I really haven't thought of a plan. I'm trying to think of a plan. Maybe you can help me with a plan. Well, then they can say that. I don't have a plan. All right, but that is the question. How do you plan to do what you want to do? It's you who wants to do it. How do you plan to do it? And now a four is the clincher question. This is All these questions are important. But this is the bottom line question. What do you expect the constructive result to be? Now that's a loaded question. What do you expect the constructive result to be of what you want to do? This is something you want to do. Now what do you expect the constructive result to be? Mm -hmm. And you underline that word constructive. Yes. That word constructive, nobody should ever want to do anything that's not going to produce a constructive result. 